Hi, it's Mike from Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To, and on today's video, I'm going to show you how to rectify problems you may be having with your Windows 11 installation. It's very easy. You don't even need a USB stick. All you need is your computer to be kind of partially functioning and at least have an internet connection, and you can actually fix Windows from weirdly within Windows. So let's go to the computer and take a look. So this is our Windows 11 installation. This is on the latest version. So if you haven't got an older version, you will have to update slightly. Depending when you're watching this video, potentially you'll be on the latest version anyway, so that won't matter. So what we want to do is to click on the start flag, then go over to the settings cog. In the settings cog, weirdly, we're going to go to Windows Update, and in Windows Update, we're going to head over to Advanced Options. Next, we want to go over to Recovery, and in this section, there's a few options you can try. So you can try this one at the top, Fix Problems Without Resetting Your PC. That can take a little while, and also the one underneath. Well, this is the one we're actually going to do. So these ones here don't lose any of your data, your settings, or drivers, anything like that. This is just repairing your core Windows operating system. The ones at the bottom here, reset this PC and advanced startup, those will involve wiping your computer. So you don't want to choose those ones. So let's try this one, fix problems using Windows Update. So we'll click on reinstall now. And just to be double sure, it does say there, reinstall your current version of Windows. Your apps, files, and settings will be preserved. So you don't have to worry too much. So click on reinstall now. And we get this dialog box. So it says we'll repair components and system files. Basically, just leave the PC on and let it get on and do its thing. It needs to be connected to the network and a power source. And after installation, it will automatically reboot after 15 minutes of installation if you don't do it yourself. Or alternatively, if you're watching the PC, which you probably don't want to do because it does take a while, it will do it for you, or you can do it manually. So you can choose to automatically restart or not. I'm just going to click on OK. So what this is going to do now is do what Windows Update normally does, so checking for updates. And what it's going to do, it's going to actually go to the Microsoft Update site, and it's actually going to download the latest version of Windows, but the repair version rather than the full install. So just be patient, let it do its thing, and then we can proceed. So there we go, we have an update available as of today, and it's the Windows 11 version 23H2. And as you can see there in brackets, this is the repair version. Over on the right hand side, we can see the downloading status. So that is it. You essentially don't need to do anything else. You will be notified that your PC will restart numerous times. So just be patient, let it do its thing. Go off, have a cup of tea or go and have some food. And then when you come back, you should have a nice shiny new installation of Windows, which works, doesn't have problems, and still retains all of your previous settings. We'll be fast forwarding through the rest of this and we'll come back when it's done. So now we're getting to the end of the downloading process and now we'll be moving on to the installation part. Windows will quickly check the files just to make sure they're verified. And there we go. Once the files have been verified, it will start installing. Again, this will go from 0% all the way up to 100% and then we'll be notified that it wants to restart the PC, at which point there will be numerous restarts until the PC is actually properly usable again. I would suggest at this point, please don't try to do anything with your computer, just let it do its own thing. The least you can do with it, the better. Anything you do in the background could affect tasks, so I would certainly leave your PC to its own devices and just be patient. So now we're at 100% of the installation, so just be patient, and we should get the option very shortly to restart the computer. And there we go, finally we've got the restart required. So now we can choose to restart now. If you've chosen the tick box to restart in 15 minutes, obviously after this is finished, it'll count down 15 minutes, then it'll automatically reboot your computer. But we're going to do it manually. So click on restart now. And now it will go through doing the Windows updates in the background, as it would normally if you were doing a fresh install. Again, just be patient and let it do its thing. Don't turn your PC off. And there we go. The PC has restarted, logged in, and it's now loading the startup programs as it would do normally. And all of our icons and program settings, all that kind of stuff, is still exactly as it was before we started. All we have now is a brand new Windows installation, or at least the Windows system files, and all the settings and registry are back to their defaults. 
So there we go, Windows has been reinstalled. We didn't need a USB stick. All we needed was a little bit of patience and an internet connection. And we now have brand new, fresh Windows install files. So everything should work as it should do. Now, hopefully this video is gonna help you. If it does, great, give us a like. And also if you wanna see more content like this on a daily basis, maybe consider hitting subscribe. If perhaps you're getting more problems, let us know in that comment section below, or alternatively head over to the Discord chat and we can try and help you out there as well. But I think that's gonna wrap this one up. I've been Mike, this is Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To, and hopefully we'll catch you in the very next video. Thanks for watching.